Hello everybody, this is the Hollywood Rabbi and this week's Torah portion is called Shmini, which means eighth. This week's Torah portion opens up with the inauguration of the tabernacle. This inauguration was supposed to be one of the happiest days for the people of Israel. Instead of being a happy day, it turned into a day of tragedy. Nadav and Avihu, the two sons of Aaron, decided out of spontaneity to bring an unauthorized fire as an offering to God. Unfortunately, these two young men were struck down in their prime. It was said that there was a lightning bolt that came from the sky and struck them down. Now, there really wasn't a lot of explanation for this. Even Aaron, who was a man of many words, was silent. Why did this happen? How could this have happened? The rabbis and commentators have struggled with this passage for many, many years. And what they came up with was Aaron's sons, Nadav and Avihu, acted spontaneously. They brought an unauthorized fire. And because they acted spontaneously, they were punished. So are we supposed to learn from this that spontaneity and spirituality are mutually exclusive? Let's look further into the text for greater understanding. Didn't Moses act spontaneously when he came down from Mount Sinai with the Ten Commandments? When Moses saw the people cavorting and rebelling against God by worshiping a golden calf, Moses acted spontaneously by instead of giving the people the tablets, he shattered the tablets. Some people think he smashed them against the golden calf. Wasn't this an act of spontaneity? Why wasn't Moses punished? Instead, the text said God consented to his act of shattering the Ten Commandments. And he actually said, more power to you. So is, how do we resolve this conflict between structure and spontaneity? Well, we have to look at the roles of Nadav and Avihu. They were priests. Priests are not supposed to act spontaneously. The service is supposed to be structured. Even the priestly benediction today is exactly the same way as it was thousands of years ago. However, the role of Moses was a prophet. The Talmud states that the language of the prophet varies from generation to generation, from situation to situation. Sometimes in periods of calm, the prophet stirs people to action. And in times of despair and tragedy, the prophet changes his tone and speaks in terms of redemption and inspiration and hope and resilience. So the role of the prophet is spontaneous by nature. It's situational. But the role of the priest is structural. We have inherited both traditions. We need the freshness of spontaneity to invigorate us with inspiration, yet we also rely on structure to keep us from straying from the spirit of our laws and our traditions. So let's practice the traditions of structure and spontaneity in our lives so that we can have the greatest amount of success and achieve a closer bond with spirituality and with our fellow humans. I want to wish you all a Shabbat Shalom and a wonderful weekend and may you all be blessed with health, happiness and prosperity. Already. 
it'd be awesome if you'd like this video, hit the red subscribe button, and turn your bell notifications on so you don't miss out on any weekly videos I put out.